David Carson again. I'm just going to start my timer here. Okay. I'm here today to once again talk about nepotism in our local government. In particular, the fact that both the wife and son of our council president, Dick Jordan, currently holds department head positions. I and others have brought this conflict of interest up multiple times here, yet, yet I've, I've yet to hear any council member address the public about it. What's the big deal, some might ask? Companies in the private sector do this all the time, some might say. To that, I would point out that in the private sector, owners of companies will have to answer to the bottom line sooner or later that if positions of authority within the company are given to relatives first, not the most qualified, most likely the company as a whole will suffer. The bottom line will suffer and customers will choose to do their business with someone else if a company's performance suffers too much due to too much nepotism. Taxpayer funded public institutions like this one are another creature altogether. Unless we move away and to another city, we have no choice as taxpayers but to do business with you. There is no competition and your bottom line gets overlooked because the taxpayers have no choice but to sustain it. It's not like I can opt out of city taxes when I'm dissatisfied with the way my city conducts its business. To top it all off, a city is much more than a business. More is at stake, like the overall quality of life for all its citizens. I do not trust Dick Jordan, or anyone for that matter, to choose the interest of the taxpayers as a whole over the interests of their immediate family members. That's common sense, but apparently needs to be brought up time and time again because this issue is being ignored. What I suggest is a local policy or resolution to be created to address this. Something binding that states no elected official may have family members hired in city positions especially heads of city departments. Some might point out we already have Alabama State Code 41 slash 1 slash 5 that addresses, that addresses this. I'm not sure if this state code addresses city councils, but it obviously has done little to deter Dick Jordan from having his wife and son installed as heads of Florence City Departments. I think I know how Jordan works around this, mainly by having others like the mayor do the hiring for him. That is why we need something more specific locally to keep elected, elected officials' family members from getting hired altogether. I and others do not plan on dropping this issue until it's resolved. I hope those who possess some ethics and integrity on this council will get behind a resolution when one is presented in the future. I understand in politics there will always be one hand washing the other. I think the nepotism going on here is way too much for the public to ignore any longer.